Good morning. Good morning. I was sitting over here. Facebook won't get this this video, but anyway, you know they're about to have a hold on all videos locked down on the videos. You have to pay for Facebook in a minute, but anyway. Good morning. I was sitting here. I just got off of work. I was sitting here, um, figuring how I was gonna get this video to work and me be able to keep the content but then I figured it out so I can upload it at, on uh, YouTube but my mom is asleep I'm just getting off of work yesterday I introduced to my social media um, and those who participated thank you those who watched it thank you all your views and any way that you feel I can upgrade or whatever, everything is appreciated. I appreciate it. In inbox, any way you feel that I can um, better get out to the world. It was a true story of a black woman who came from nothing. Have, I mean, like the survival that she had with seven kids coming from South Carolina, I need to, I was introducing to you, I, I need to let you know about this, of uh, the Jews, you know what I mean, I gotta apologize, I'm not perfect, I don't really know nothing about this stuff, and I'm not trying to go deep with it, and all this, I want to be able to just come online, talk some um, values and principles, and what my, my parents and my mother taught me to be the person I am, or, and um, just share, you know, her passion for what she did um, to survive in the 50s. Because we already know it wasn't hard. It wasn't easy to survive in the 50s. And like I stated yesterday, my mom and my dad came to the 518 in New York, in the Army, with um, a brand new baby girl and $50 in their pocket. And... My mother, she um, she had seven kids. Um, she had two sets of stair steps, and then she had two other ones. But she raised, and she gave, and she looked out for everybody's children that was around her, any child in need. And my mother used to go to these flea markets and garage sales and Salvation Armies and the churches and whatever, whatever, to spend her little money. She used to get our clothes, press them, iron them. But not only did she get clothes for us, she got, we grew up, I grew up in the projects, Green Street, Wolf Wolf. But anyway, um, my mother used to cook out of Puerto Rican pots like this, right? And not only did she feed us, she fed the kids in, in the projects. And when my mother would go to these rubber cells, not only did she get her own kids' clothes, she got kids that was in need. And my mother did that all her life. My mother never my mother never knew how to say no. And for everybody who knows my mom knows that my mom never knew how to say no. So anyway, um, I just really wanted to come and ask for everybody's support, like, we got less time on this earth than we got more, you know. And I was just thinking and just thinking the type of person my mom is. And, you know, she didn't collect just one thing. She just collected everything. She was told, she, I was, when I was coming up, I'm like, why you keep going to the garage sales? And this after we got older. And my mother told us that at that time, black people didn't donate. So as I got older, I started to value, and that's what I, you know, I started to value that principle. You know what I mean? And um, I'm a, I'm addicted to, because well, <laughs> I don't shop in malls or whatever. This ain't about me, it's about my mom. And I was just wanted to talk about the survival, you know, of um, coming up in the 50s. And, and I was just thinking about how many women have survived some things and, and substantial. There's no more big mamas. Them values and principles, if they wasn't instilled in you, for you to be able to instill them in other people, and if you if you if you didn't get them values and the morals from a big mama, 
they 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 go on. They they leaving us. You know what I'm saying? Like my, we got less time on this earth than we got more. You know what I mean? And like my mom's getting ready to leave, and and um, I and, and all right, let's rewind this a little bit. So you know, my mom, through the grace of God, you know, my mom almost died two years ago. We was up north, and they told us to take her off for dialysis, and um. Because she wasn't eating, she wasn't walking, she wasn't talking, she wasn't doing nothing. She was just there. And um, my mother didn't like the cold, right? So when they told us um, that my mother wasn't going to make it, we, uh, my father and my brother, um, Councilman Mark Robinson, Shine, whatever, my brother Mark, they said they were going to take her down south. My father said, my mother's going to, my wife's going to pass away. If my wife's going to pass away, she's not going to die in the cold. <coughs> so, let me work while I talk to y'all. Because I was going to do this on Facebook, but what I realized is that Facebook is going to, you can't get your content off of Facebook to like upload on YouTube, and I'm going all the way with this. You know, I got a phone call last night, and I need to say to you, I don't have no fake drools. You know what I'm saying? What I have, I done got rid of all the fugazi, right? So yesterday I kept saying, I don't know the real from the fake. I don't know the real from the fake. So like, I appreciate. The inbox, I appreciate the hour and a half call last night. I'm saying anything that you, um, people out there that can uh, see the vision of, the, of this woman that's sharing her survival and what she did for not to be lost, I'm open, okay? So all her criticism is constructive criticism. I just want to keep it 98% spiritual, but I just need to let you know. I always say this and everybody know you got to keep them 2% when you just got to cuss them. Okay? But I just want to share this story with you because um, my mom is asleep and I'm just going to go for work and I got to be busy. So I'm, I'm really kind of looking at my time. I want to keep it short. I want to keep it just so I'm going to keep it on uh, social media 30 minutes of your time. That's it. That's all Mother Jews will be displaying. 30 minutes, no more, no less. Right? Because my mom was impatient and, you know, so sometimes short is better. Sometimes less is better. Sometimes it's more daintier too. Oh, I'm like feeling these jewels. Oh my God! My mother has them! You know? But I don't want to get, I don't want to lose track of what I was saying. Uh, so, this is what my mom did to survive. And, like, I would hate for her legacy because this is not all my mother has. My mother collected everything. This is all I can say. My mother collected everything. All I can say is just continue to just follow and just, my mother just collected everything, not one thing, y'all. It may not, my mother always say, it may not be for you, but... It may be for the next person. What you don't like, the next one will. So all I ask you to do is share. Just share the love. Just share the love that to know, like, this black woman survived. You know what I mean? And and this was her outlet. This was her outlet. I remember, I'm going to tell you this. I'll never forget this. And I've been trying to search for this book, but... My mom got dementia, or she, I mean, but listen, I think she got more um, sundowners than dementia, but, you know, she kind of, she got, she's getting older, but we was going to lose her, we brought her down south, and I think that's the story I was telling you, right? Yeah, it was. But anyway, we brought my mom down south, and then when we brought her down south, they really took care of my mother, and um, they brought my mother's back to help bring her down here, and so when I got down here, I just felt a real spiritual connection, and I just love the weather, it's good for my bones, whatever, so I decided to stay, and um, so my mother's here, comes to me for the, for the uh, winter, and then she goes to my sister in the summer months, so being in this field, I knew that I had to do something to keep my mom occupied, so 
I just told my sisters, give me, excuse me, give me a duffel bag of jewelry. So my sister gave me a duffel bag, boom. So my mom is going through the jewelry, you know, this is what I did to keep her mind. I have her fold clothes, take to the laundry man. I mean, you know, I make flowers, you know, I have to keep her mind. Cause, and I mean, like, and I record everything she says. Everything. I got everything, like these moments I got of my mother and father. It's like, I hope, I, I hope God bless me with somebody, bro. Oh, what I thought was going to be my first husband when he passed away. But I think he is too. Bro. Anyway, but I, let me get back to it. Let me, it. This is some sentimental stuff because when I was, so now we're told to live now. Yeah, okay. So I record everything. But um, I don't, this, for me, I just, everything. For her grandkids and her great, 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 I can record everything. But anyway. So the only thing I really think I'm saying um, is that I'm just asking how to share the love because she has so much to offer. And I cannot, you know, um, see a woman that survived that era and how she took care of people when she never said no. And the trials and tribulations that she's been through as a black woman I seen coming up. You know what I'm saying? And just the, the I, used to, I said, Mom, why you never say no? I remember asking my mother, I said, Mom, why you always just say yes to everything? You know what my mother said to me? I said, Mom, you do everything for everybody. You know what she said to me? She said, baby, I don't get my blessings from you. I get my blessings from God. You feel me? Now that's deep. My mother never said no. And she's sick now. And I'm taking care of her the best way I can. I'm keeping her, her integrity intact. You know, my mom loved nice linens. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And you know the funny thing about it, my mother, even in her age of dementia, and every, you know, she get old and she go in and out, my mother wake up every morning. You know what? Ain't no sales. Ain't no garage. Ain't no salvation army. That's all she know. In her age right now. That's, you know, that's just all. She wakes up in the morning, this is what she want to do. So I take her before I go to work. Then I take her back. My father take her out for coffee in the evening. But on my days, it's so I, I take her to, I take her to the uh, Goodwill. Then I take her to dialysis three times a week here. And she hates dialysis. They love her. She, I don't. She's just tired right now, but she, she kicking. You know what I mean. So I just really want to just share the love, man. Just like, you know, this thing. Her, like her, like my mother got. And I'm not bragging because this was. Everybody always called my mother a hoarder. Oh, she a hoarder. She was collecting this stuff. She knew good stuff. Ain't nobody got time. Like, I don't got time for nobody to come in here and say, oh, this worth this, this worth this. I got common sense to look. You know, China and Fukazi, I know how to clean this stuff. You know what I mean? So, I, I'm not looking. It's just too much. I could never. I enjoy doing it because when I be doing this jury, I be like, this one right here. Could you imagine? Could you imagine who wore this? The, could you imagine how the woman felt when she either brought this for herself or receives it from someone? That's that's deep. That's spiritual. That's deep for me. I don't know about nobody else. But you know, like, my mother got some really nice tastes and some really nice pieces. Some really nice pieces. But I got to go get my mom up and I get a dress. I just wanted to really, you know, come on and talk to you. Just ask for your support to share my video. I think I'm gonna be, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, tr I'm trying to, I'm gonna be consistent. I gotta be consistent. It's just, I ain't letting fashion go, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. So what I'm doing this week for the time that my mom here, I don't think it's gonna be very important that I sell anything or whatever. I think I want to give news a more of, of the, the process. You understand what I'm saying? The beginning. I want to, I want to share that with y'all. Because my mom is leaving me. So you're going to be able to get 
her. She was kind of agitated yesterday because when I came in, I gave her a shower and I was telling her we was getting ready to go out. And she didn't care about none of this. All she thought about was going to the Goodwill store. <laughs> so that's why she was kind of agitated because I wanted to get her dressed and I wanted to get dressed and I wanted to put some makeup on and, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Because I'll be walking around here looking rough going to work. But yeah, okay, I don't know, whatever. So, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of like... Um, touch bases with everybody, so it's just going to be a process for this week, I'm still putting together stuff, I know I got to do this wall and whatever, the whole system is going to be, and it's going to be five, ten dollars, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm at the point, if you buy something for $10, and I'm doing something else, and like, say if I show something, and say, it's like earrings and a necklace, right, and I'm, and you buy it, for ten dollars, if I'm looking around, and I see a bracelet that match. I'm gonna share the love. If you win a mystery bag, I'm gonna share.